And the last one you're gonna find uh, in dairy, uh, specifically in dairy products, uh, more specifically, low fat dairy products, because carrageenan really isn't needed in whole fat. Because when you take the fat out of dairy, you take a lot of the binding agents, you take a lot of the nutrition out of it as well. Um, but carrageenan is what they put in dairy products to help thicken it. All right, and if you don't have fat, you don't have that thick agent going on. So low fat items are gonna have carrageenan. Carrageenan um, is a chemical that can cross the blood brain barrier. Not a lot of chemicals can. And when you cross that barrier, you start having things like headaches and you can even have stomach aches. And so if you're someone who drinks milk and you're not lactose intolerant and you get these headaches or you're eating dairy products and you're getting stomach aches and headaches, it could be that you're actually intolerant to dairy. Most, about 95% of all dairy that's out there is absolute garbage these days because of how much processing they do and how much hormones and all these things they do to manipulate the cow's growth and all that. So I highly uh, advise trying to avoid commercial dairy and buy organic dairy and free range cows and, and things like that uh, to get that type of dairy. But you'll see it in carrageenan. You see carrageenan in things like dairy. Um, uh, that's pretty much the, the, the top. You'll find it in milk, you'll find it in cheeses. Um, not so much cheeses, you'll actually find it in things like um, sour creams and uh, yogurts and um, what are some other things like smoothie drinks, things like that. So just be mindful of those ingredients. So if you have a minute, I'd write these down real quick. MSG, uh, different types of food color colorings. You can look those up if you want to. Uh, nitrates, guar gums, high fructose corn syrup, um, sucralose, uh, uh, fructose, um, uh, sucralose, sucrose, um, then you, I'd look up aspartame and I'd also put carrageenan on that list. And again, I'm not trying to like <laughs> fear you into avoiding these things, I just want you to be educated so that you can choose to make the right decisions for your family, for yourself, so that you don't wander, wander into a grocery store and fall victim like so many other people to just buying what's out there and not being educated on what these food companies are doing to your food. All right, so thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns and you wanna leave them down in the comment section below, that would be awesome. Uh, if you wanna message me here on Facebook, you can do that. If you can message me wherever you're watching this, I'd be more than happy to explain more of these and help you out in any way I can. All right, so without further ado, I will see you in a future video.